these bath salts, they're devastating families all over the country like nothing people have ever seen. Bath salts, a dangerous drug sold all over the country, and yet in most states it's all perfectly legal. This father wants to know why. Nobody should use this stuff. It turns out the drug is so new, the federal government has yet to regulate it. And how easy is it to buy bath salts? See for yourself. We're inside a so-called head shop in New York City, where you can buy all kinds of drug paraphernalia. Like pipes, bongs, and rolling papers. Of course, you can't buy the illegal drugs here, like marijuana or cocaine, to use with these accessories. But the clerks say they've got legal substitutes for the real thing. They're called designer drugs, and they'll cost you. Four grams for 60 bucks. Come on, dude. Four grams for 60 dollars, bro? Using a hidden camera, one of our producers found out more about what's for sale. This right here, salvia, what it is, it's a mind trip, like a mind hallucination. They're spikes, or imitation marijuana. This gets you high like you. This is called happy cap. What is that happy cap? It just gets you right, bro. It's like, it's like, I mean, it's like access to you. There's imitation Xanax, a prescription anti-anxiety drug. It's like Xanax. All right. And this is where we found bath salts, the same drug that Jared took before he killed himself and the drug that Jimmy says made him paranoid and delusional. These are bath salts. <coughs> I heard about those, yeah. The clerk readily admits they have nothing to do with taking a bath. Listen to what this clerk says you really do with them. So what do you do? You smell them when you smell them? Yeah. What, or what? Uh, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Is it most popular? Just straight up, just like that? Yep. Most bath salts are actually from a chemical called MDPV, a white powder first seen by law enforcement just two years ago. According to the DEA, it's manufactured for only one purpose, to get high. And that's something these clerks admit. I feel that it's not, you know, it's pretty pumpy. How much do bath salts cost? 80 bucks. This little tiny thing? For $80. Dude, they fly out the door. They're sold under brand names like Extreme, Snowblow, and Bliss. And even though the labels say not for human consumption, this clerk claims they are a safe substitute for cocaine. This is a lot safer than the real stuff. But a lot of people in law enforcement disagree. And even though the federal government hasn't declared it illegal, some states are taking action. In Lackawanna County, Pennsylvania, a judge has declared bath salts a public nuisance, and authorities have begun a crackdown. Jags, hurry up. What are you guys waiting for here? Let's go. We joined them as they stopped this man, a distributor. They confiscated hundreds of packages of bath salts. Street value is 25000 He's been charged with violating the judge's order against selling bath salts. He has yet to enter a plea. So has local law enforcement made it more difficult for stores to sell bath salts? Remember, Jimmy Harris had no problem finding it. I bought it right at a tobacco shop in Athens, Pennsylvania. There's only one reason that that's out there. Why would you go into a tobacco shop and buy bath salts? Explain that to me, you know? We wonder the same thing and have a few questions for the people yeah, who sell that? bath salts. Chris Hansen with Dateline yeah, NBC. Right, right, so we went back to that head shop in Lower Manhattan and spoke with this employee named Luke. We're doing a story, Luke, on bath salts. And I know you guys sell them. Do you ever worry that somebody's going to get sick, hallucinate? I, I have done my research. I know, you know, even with cough syrup, there's a risk that something bad could happen and that someone could misuse it. As we mentioned, bath salts have a label saying not for human consumption. That's why this clerk says he has no qualms selling the stuff. I know that the way it's packaged in our store, it's legal for sale. And I know that as long as it's legal, I don't have any qualms selling it. Everybody knows that nobody uses this while taking a bath. Unless they're taking a bath while snorting it up their nose. If right? you say so, I can't, I can't say one way or another. Well, we know they have. If you say so. Well, you want to see the videotape? 
Sure. We showed Luke our undercover video of his co-workers telling us what bath salts are really used for. So, what, how, what do you do? You snort them? Are you smoke them? Yeah. Or what? Yeah, yeah first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These are the most popular ones. Just straight up? Just like that? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> I got everybody on camera. Yep. They had Austin and JD and Alex. And remember this clerk, Alex, who sold us all those other designer drugs? Basically, pop them up. <laughs> Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. How are you? Alex. Alex, nice to see you. Yeah. You sold this to one of my producers. Possibly, yeah. Do you know how dangerous this stuff is? Uh, no, it's, dude, it's, it's bath salts. Bath salts. And what are bath salts used for, Alex? For the bath. For the bath. That's right. But you tell people to sort this stuff. Mm, yeah, possible. Some people possibly. do that. Yeah. Some people do that, yeah. Later, Alex told us selling bath salts is no worse than selling alcohol or tobacco. It has caused suicide so in some cases. So it has what? caused kids to have bad reactions, right. hallucinations, right. I, 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 paranoia. Dude, I don't, I don't disagree with you that you know it's not a, it's not a good thing to have. Right. So why does he sell it? You may have guessed. It's a, it's a money maker, dude. Whatever, you know. That's, that's a high profit. It's a business man. And if you think shops like the one where Alex works are the only ones making money, we're about to go up the ladder. Sam. Sam? Yeah. Andrew. How are you? This man says he makes a ton of money by making and distributing bath salts. For this year, I don't know exactly, but I know we're over a quarter of a million. Revenue. Oh, yeah. But his business is about to take a hit.